Hello everybody, what is up Prof Toast here? And as you can see, we are back here so we're on Bayonetta 3. So, I believe the last time we left off, we're about to do our first side chapter, which is the one with Jian. Which is a little bit interesting because it's more of a side scroller type of thing. Instead of just like, you know, the normal Bayonetta playstyle, but alright, not it's not too bad. It's just kind of interesting because I was like, alright, why did Jian get uh, freaking she gets shafted and stuff and not get, you know. Cool gameplay while freaking Bayonetta gets all the action. But you know, it is what it is. It'll also be maybe, maybe development constraints, maybe it would have taken you know, more time to give her, like, you know, the full action sequence in this, but. Damn homunculi beat me to the punch. Also, does make sense because she is kind of breaking into a laboratory, so. So they give it the whole, you know, spy breaking in flair to it. I guess the whole stick of this building too is she doesn't have a lot of her witch power, so she kind of has to improvise a little bit. Yeah, you can get stealth kills and you gotta you get new weapons like rockets and shotguns and everything. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, she uses her cat form to kind of go into air ducts. Don't she just kind of get to the goal within a certain period of time? Most of the time it's not too hard, it's just, yeah, sometimes some of the fights can take a little longer. That's not that's not normal. Seems the hotline has been disconnected. This base is no mere task to it. Wow, all right then. Freaking straight up exploded him. Alright then, I'll take care of these bastards myself. Special field running through the base interferes with Jian's magic. And also, yeah, basically, we just can't use our summons. Now. Get a. I can use this. Easy. To get down here, there we go. First computer. Wait, wait, hold on. Where's this? This carrier security, but also lets this dude lose, so that might be a slight issue. Well, I should be alright. Can't just light. No, stop. Go back down. So I can't actually go through there. So this elevator gets there we go. Let's go up. No. Oh shit, I forgot. Oh, I ran out. I can kinda do the whole 
this stealth thing with that. There we go. That's the how whole we get facility down is overrun. Here. But from the looks of this equipment, it appears the doctor knew just what to expect. Okay, so we can just bypass him for the most part, except for okay. There we go. Down. Oh, that's right. I forgot we can do a whole centipede. All right, so let's just make our way through here. It's like, yeah, we're gonna break into this place, but we're also gonna go ahead and take a shower. Bastard. What the fuck was that, my dude? She's like, oh, like, what? That freaking guy was just basically like, hey, yo, we should take him a shower. Let's just go ahead and fucking let's go ahead and take a pee. Yeah, that guy had like zero subtlety. He's like, yeah, I I'm just fucking taking my shot. The motherfucker. Here. A little bit more to freaking actually take down. I need to get on the upper level. Oh, and I forgot about that, so we might actually die. Plus, I can use this again to recover my health. Okay, never mind. We can just reuse that. This happens to take a little bit extra time, but that's okay. All right, so I essentially got these lasers. So unless I don't actually know what these does and actually do anything. So I guess we'll go ahead. care of them. No thank you, sir. Here is our elevator. That's just literally just to be stealthy. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. So And there was our side mission. So like I said, yeah, the side missions can either take a little bit or, you know, if you're quick enough and get to the destination pretty fast. And we managed to actually get no deaths. And we got extra bonuses for taking a shower, so. Alright, not bad. I think it's only like towards the final boss where it actually gets a little bit more difficult. But here should be our actual chapter four, Worlds Apart. Somehow I'm not sure no, if those are supposed to be... I don't think they're supposed to be disappearing like that. Like, yeah, I should, I should get a move on. Get to our next dimension. Oh, for can't... 
I don't fully remember if there's actually a point in destroying those, but except for maybe just getting a few extra of this game's currency. This thing. Well, this is just like a check mark or something. I don't know. Then we also have one of our collectibles. I think that's about it for this area. So, go and head back. To is kind of this weird Chinese era. Maybe the bayonet had turned into a freaking train for whatever reason. That one's not too bad, except for there's like one of the parts where you gotta like time the train going in a certain like pattern to be able to destroy like three separate things at the same time. That was the only issue I had with that level. But no, it wasn't bad. I better just try this thing. That's taken care of. Hey, we've got a gold. Uh. And check around this corner, because usually when they give you the option to go back here, there's a little something extra. Okay, going Kingdom Hearts style right here. Probably means just now for shits and giggles. Gone off to? Nursing a skinned knee, perhaps. I think there's probably somewhere up here that he will unlock a specific item. I don't see it. There very well be some space that I completely just missed, but. Okay, there he is. So say I saw that ball thing. Besides that, I don't think there's anything else over here, so... Unless... It looks already like it was destroyed. This is one of those ones where we gotta go back, so... Let's head on back to this area real quick. Pretty only ones that are slightly annoying just because oh, that's right, I don't actually have to hit them, I just need to at least touch them in a certain time period. Oh, I already fucked up. Okay, anyways. Right, one more time.
good this one two three four and five there we go Fell off the edge, but we got our item, so I'll take it. Just because I'm curious, there's somewhere around here that I miss that this giant ass key goes to. Or it could honestly just be something that's actually ahead and not behind me. Back back here. That's why I think we actually already did that. So let's go ahead. So we are in, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, the Chaotic Rift. And it's one of those moments, it's like, yeah, that's a, that looks like an easy word that I can just completely butcher and not pronounce, you know, in any way correct, but that's also like, I, I'm not even going to attempt that one. I'm just going to say it's a Chaotic Rift, okay? That sounds a lot easier. as we can. I wonder what alternate reality awaits me this time. I think it's odd uh, Chinese train bayonetta. Yep. There's that weird kind of feudal era. Basically our enemies also invading their timeline as well. Soldiers like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck these things are, Maybe but yeah. Yes, and I'd prefer not to waste that time on your lectures. Where are these guys credit? They're not running away. I'll fucking stab it. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm doing it. Is that surprising? You know, considering the technology they have, they're coming up a fairly decent fight. They must be well trained to fight so fearlessly. I feel a bit inspired to take up arms myself. All those people down there, it's almost looking like a freaking Dynasty Warriors esque. Break those apart for money. Alright, guys, 
don't mean to completely destroy your artillery. That's friendly. I can just straight up. No. Okay, I was gonna say, does that not actually break? Is it literally just there so I can play with the drone? I was like, okay. Can actually break. So I guess the key was somewhere back there, but for whatever reason, I was just completely missing it. Sorry, I'm using my fuckers. He was a fast. They are the maybe mediocre. Feeling with how fast these guys are, I just gotta essentially hit them with the witch time. Come on, come on, hit me. Try to hit me. Yeah, so using my summons isn't gonna help in this one. Oh, that's not much time. Then it actually works out. Straight up destroy the statue. I was trying to do that earlier, but the game was like, no, no, we, we really need you to go into this cutscene. Like, Fine, do that first. No. That thing's still causing the fucking ruckus. Huh, I was gonna say, can I get up as well? I was like, I can. No. Not this one. So, all right. I think there might actually be something on this roof. Or not. Not the one piece. I guess we can't get to much higher. So, oh wait, hold on. There we go. Okay, there has to be a little collectible. Going up the thing, I was just thinking of that one piece being like, Can we get much higher? Oh, no. No, no, we can. Okay. Oh, okay. Those come in handy. Yeah, throughout the reason, another reason why I'm also destroying a lot of these environments is because you do slowly collect little things or little bits of ingredients and then later on. Essentially, oh, what the fuck was that shit? Oh, okay. We're doing this now, are we? But yeah, basically you can collect uh, ingredients and then you can use that to craft free items instead of, you know, having to actually buy it. You know, it comes in handy because that shit can get expensive after a while. I can only collect so much resources. There's a way I was sitting there. Think you got a there was a way I thought I was doing like. No uh, infernal know. entry here, it seems. Thought I had a way of like doing just like kind of quick item use. I guess not. Maybe I was remembering a different game. Huh. 
That's not normal. The glitch in the matrix. Freaking bayonetta on her freaking ghost train. Our true enemy lies ahead. Leave this beast to my servant. Follow me. Oh, so that's why everybody just fights so fearlessly. Fucking train now. <laughs> 